So I have here my roommate, Sean. Hi, Sean. Hi. And I have a deck of cards. It's not a full deck because, you know, I never play with a full deck. Insert joke here. As you see, they're all different. So I'm going to go through the cards, and Sean is just going to tell me when to stop. Stop. Right there. Okay, take a look. Show the camera. Show yourself. I'm going to put the cards away because I want you to rip the cards up into tiny, or the card up into tiny pieces. And then after he does that, I'm going to have him put it in this bag. It's not a really difficult thing, Sean. So this bag is empty. I'm going to have him put the cards in here, or the pieces rather, when he's done. Now, I don't much use a magic wand, but I do use a magic marker. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the magic marker and say my magic words that I usually use, which is abracadabra, alakazam, hocus pocus, bam. What that does, that turns his card into one whole piece again. Yep, it worked. It's a great trick. What, you want to see? Alright, here we go. Oh man. Can you pick that up for me, Sean? That way people don't think that I have anything crazy going on. Um, well, it was one whole piece. I don't know where the rest of the piece is. But that was your card, right? Yes. Actually, the crazy thing is, I do know where his card went, the rest of it. It's actually inside this orange. I will show you. There are no holes, there are no cuts, but yet his card is inside here. Check this out. It's rather juicy too. That's really juicy. Watch this. And there is a card. But it would only be a good trick if this was his card. And there is one way for sure to tell if this is his card. This is almost like a receipt. You take it, you put it right there, and you see that's a perfect match.